TigerFitness.com reviewing BPI Super Pro today. Now I know it's much more impressive when I have my bottle in front of me. But you know, Chad, the owner of Tiger Fitness, he said, Mark, you're drinking too much protein. The women, they keep emailing me wanting your number and your contact information. And, and I said, Chad, it's okay. I'll cut down on my protein consumption. I'll start eating more soy and more Luna bars. And I will definitely tone it down a bit on the sexiness. So without further ado, I'm going to go into what is in this product, who to take it, why to take it, when to take it, where to take it, all that good stuff. So without further ado, BPI Super Pro, coming at you. What is in BPI Super Pro? Now it's a pretty long, extensive uh, ingredient list. First, we're going to go into the macronutrients, which is, there's 4 grams of fat in here, 1.5 is saturated, 0 trans fats. Um, 14 grams of carbohydrates, so it's uh, more of a meal replacement. We'll see what the carb source is in a little bit. Only 1 gram of sugar, though, and 22 grams of protein. That makes it 22P, 14C, and 4F, if you're keeping track at home, kids. But let's go into the actual ingredients, because we need to care about that. First up is the Super Pro Ultra Premium Blend. Ultra filtered, low temperature processed whey protein concentrate. Whey concentrate is good. Whey concentrate is great. In my opinion, the best protein you can have has more intact fractions of the healthy things whey have. Helps it helps improve your immune function and along with the muscle building benefits of whey protein. It's great. I like whey protein as intact as possible without having your carbon fat all funky like that. Cross flow micro filtered whey protein isolate. Great. Keeps the carbs and fat down. Calcium caseinate, I'd rather see micellar casein, but honestly, it's, cal it's caseinate. I'm not going to complain about it, but it's not the highest quality caseinate you can have. Um, micellar casein, there you go. They got it in there after the calcium caseinate. Milk protein concentrate, then milk protein isolate. Um, it's a blend of proteins. I can see they're kind of going for the everything effect, and that's fine. It's good to go. Ultra concentrated 25 digestive enzymes, awesome. This will help people digest their food. I'm a big fan of digestive enzymes. Um, I would list those out, but it's 25. It'll take quite a long time. Next up, maltodextrin. Ah, fail. Why would you put maltodextrin in a protein powder? It's a useless carbohydrate. Maybe post-workout to spike the insulin. But come on, guys. Why? I know it tastes good, and it helps things mix better and everything, but it's a protein powder. It's a health food. Sunflower powder, sunflower, which is sunflower oil. And then just the stuff to make the powder, malto, sodium caseinate, mono and diglycerides. See, I've actually read that those are trans fats. They're human made, and the trans fat is, nat is, is naturally formed when the mono and di come together. Trans fats are bad, but by law, we only have to list trans fats from triglycerides. So I'm not really... It's part of the sunflower powder blend. It's probably a very insignificant amount, but when I look at a label and I see mono and diglycerides and maltodextrin in it. It just, I don't know, it, it kind of, it's a health product. It has to taste good. I, 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 don't, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I, I'm, a lot of products use mono and diglycerides. I know it helps it taste good. It's very rich and creamy, good mouthfeel. Uh, yeah, polydextrose, uh, fibrous is okay. Um, yeah, natural and artificial flavors, cellulose gum, this one is old flavor, and if, if I, I'm, I'm a purist. I like health products to be, you know, not not bad. Um, but cookie crunch, enriched flour, sugar, canola oil, cocoa, high fructose corn syrup. I can make an excuse for mono and diglycerides, but I find a cookie. I mean, I just bought some Oreos from Trader Joe's. And they have no corn syrup or high fructose corn syrup in it. Can we find an alternative for this? I don't want to see high fructose corn syrup on a protein label. It's high fructose, but I can't see any health benefit. Cinder Max, I don't care if it's in small amounts. It's a health product. I, I don't know. I know it's part of the cookie crunch, which is farther down the label. It's just a small part of it. But it's, I don't see it having a place in here. Baking soda, salt, soy lecithin, chocolate, and vanillin. So that's okay. That's that's pretty much it. Uh, basically, 
It's a protein blend with stuff in it. The carbohydrate appears to be mostly from maltodextrin, and there's there's cookie crunch. Uh, it has some great components to it, such as its digestive enzyme blend. I like the protein blend. I like the use of concentrate as the first ingredient. Uh, but overall, I, I, I hope they get the fructose corn syrup. Uh, maybe it's just this flavor. Maybe I'm tripping. I understand, but that, that, product, that, that ingredient just makes me kind of funny. See, I'm stuttering. I'm like that dude on American Pie when he was caught with the pie. You know, I'm just a little bit weird about it. Anyway, that's what's in it. Who to take this? This isn't just protein. I mean, look, um, Nitro Tech, uh, different kinds of products like that, uh, they're way. You take them as a way supplement. This is more of a meal replacement to me. With the fat content as well as the carb content um, per, you know, 22 grams of protein, uh, 22 to 14 to 4. I like to see this taken as a meal replacement. Maybe have a piece of fruit with it. Maybe throw two scoops of this in there. But I don't see this as just a simple protein powder. I see this as an MRP. And they promote it as complete muscle building protein powder. I believe it's more of a protein meal replacement. When to take this? Anytime throughout the day you're looking to increase your protein intake. Anytime you're looking to uh, substitute, supplement a meal with some nutrients. Uh, basically, any time throughout the day you would like to drink this, staying within your caloric needs. Side effects, as with any product, you want to make sure you can, you know, you 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 rock your um, rock your doctor, rock it, and make sure that everything's cool to go. If you're starting a diet training or new, or um, diet training or supplement program, um, the product utilizes dairy and soy products. So if you have issues with those, you know. The, if you're somewhat lactose intolerant, just a little bit, the dairy with all the enzymes in there shouldn't affect you too much. Um, that's pretty much that. If things start to go funky anytime during your program, be sure to see your doctor. Where do you buy BPI Super Pro? Just one place. TigerFitness.com, your one stop shop for all your health and physique goals. This is Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Peace. Yeah.